Welcome okay. back to the Key Training Center Telethon. Now listen, that Bass Tournament clip that you just saw, that raised this year over $7,000. Wow. That went to today's yes. total. Yes. So yes. we want to make sure that we promote that for next year. We have it in Danella. I don't have the date, but uh, we appreciate all those anglers coming out and helping raise money, which, again, is going to our total. I don't know many of you might not know this gentleman oh, yeah, right. in the middle of us. <laughs> Neil, Ladies, would you like to introduce this? <laughs> Who is this? I'm looking at the monitor over there, and I wouldn't and get up here if I'd have known if I was going to look like that. What do you got to say you about that, say, Neil? You yeah, look to say yeah, you sure. Rose yeah. Between yeah. Two Angie's thorns. already starting to yeah. laugh. See, it she's going to start between giggling. Two thorns, right? Or <laughs> wait a minute, or, how does that go? Yeah, rose between two thorns. Okay, no, okay. no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a thorn between two roses. Do you realize we're almost at two hundred thousand dollars? Is that unbelievable? <laughs> at, uh, and we got a, we got uh, 50, 55 more minutes to go. Oh, no, I believe on the 17th of July, we had 450 people sitting in the new Life Enrichment Center, and $73,000 was raised, and people kept coming up to all of us saying, how could that possibly have happened in this economic climate? Right. Because of Citrus County and how special this place is, a community of concern and care for these precious people. And they're fixing to get over $200,000, even if Iris Whitaker, the director at the foundation with Dennis, keeps making faces at us. You know that? <laughs> yeah, she yeah, says she's going to. Yeah, here? she says she's going to have a migraine headache, but I don't. Yeah, she can go ahead and have it now. But you know what? I asked yeah. him. I said, "What number is going to make you happy?" I said, "We're going to do it for." Ch and Chet said, "I'm already happy." And that it has. You know, hey, it's been. It's been I told you, Aww. over at the enrichment center, I said I've had a hugging day. Yeah. We all got a chance to hug our people today mm -hmm. and get all of our hugs. And when you get that, the world is good. I had an opportunity. I didn't come here until 3 o'clock to see the telethon for the first time starting at 9 in the morning. And I want to compliment the WYKE staff. I think great. They Dennis are. Miller and Joe and Chris and Steve and Dawn no, for the job. beautiful yeah. job that they have done. And some of the pieces that we've had with families mm -hmm. are so personal and so intimate, and that tells our story, doesn't it? And it's just, it's just incredible how we're there for families, and they trust us to take care of their loved ones, which is the most precious thing in the world to them. And that's the greatest compliment we could have. And so today is a celebration of the Key Training Center, but it's also a celebration of Citrus County and what Citrus County is to the Key and what the Key is to Citrus County. Right. And I'm just happy to be part of it. Good. So tickled to Look be part this. of they it. Got a new total. New want. total. We're going to get a new total. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> read it up. Read it up. That's so wonderful. We just Two hundred and six, three ten. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Now, and you really didn't know that. No, I no, did I not know that. And you always know. We've been keeping them in the dark all day This today. is the first time that I've never asked where we're at, how are we doing, what do we need to do, do we need to hunker down, what do we need to do in drive time, <laughs> and guess what? We can probably raise a little oh, bit more money. Oh, yes, we, huh? we still got some time. We still got some time. We still got some time. Yeah. Well, we also we also want to thank uh, Progress Energy. Um, oh yeah. Progress Energy behind the scene, and later on, um, as we're ending, we're, we're going to view. Uh, we want to thank you for being out here today. They've been manning the cameras all day. Um, Vic from Progress Energy has been helping direct. Um, so we really appreciate you guys being out here and helping us, and they do that for us every year. Vic, I know Chuck. Who's this lady right here? <laughs> My wife. Okay. <laughs> well, Chuck is an old great softball player from years ago, probably still plays really well right now, and he's a really fine man in our community, and we appreciate you all being here. Vic, I think the first uh, telethon was 1987, and Mark Jacobs helped me with that. Mark was with Florida Progress. He's now with Salvation Army. He's a dear friend of Dennis and mine and a lot of people in the community, and that's who recruited Vic to come here, and Vic hadn't He's stopped coming, here. have you? Yep. Nope. Been here ever since. Once and you're a good man. Well, once they yep. come here to the key, they're hooked. I think that we've I seen that with yeah. everybody. I, yeah. You know, once you feel it, all right, you don't forget it, and you keep on coming. You well, and, and the other thing is, is that we've got brand new facilities, Neil. Oh, yeah. Nice. And aren't every, I mean, we're just so <laughs> proud of these new facilities. The only thing we got to do is figure a way to get back and forth to the key center, which is about three quarters of a mile away. And we just about got that figured out for next year. We'll have it it's going to be outstanding. Yeah. And we're still going to have our clients here at 530. Yep. Now, listen, I know we're going to get ready to uh, introduce a video here in first, but l let's go back and, and explain to the individuals that are watching today why we're here. We're here because 
300 developmentally disabled individuals, citizens of Citrus County, fellow citizens of Citrus County, have unique and challenging needs. However, the good news is that of all those 300, 87% are only mildly delayed, which means that if given the appropriate opportunities, vocational experience, supports, and services, they can lead a normal, productive, and happy life. And that's what the Key Center is all about in the vast amount of services that we give. Almost 175 live in various group homes, facilities in the community, apartments, almost yeah. 20 apartments. Right. You've talked and had families here today that have their own homes, drive their own cars, literally are living the American dream just like you and I, okay? I'm an old man, been here for 40 years. These people were still fighting the same battles we fought 45 years ago when my mother was raising me up, and that is to make sure that they can exercise all of their human rights and that everything that we can possibly do to enrich their life and make sure that they have those opportunities is what we should be doing. And I've always believed ever since I was that high that the easiest thing we can do is love Neil. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what God commands us to do is to love each other, to love our neighbors. And when we do that, we get gifts in return that are immeasurable and they're treasures that last for a lifetime. People come out here and get connected with these people and they start understanding what's really important about life. And it's the things about life that not so much your bank account or the kind of car you drive, but what kind of relationship do you have? And what is your legacy going to be when you leave this life? And how many lives have you touched? And that really is the story of the Key Center in all the years that I've been here. And there's been so many people that have played such a wonderful part in that. And so I believe, and I think our board of directors and our staff and the people that support the Key Center and other stakeholders believe that those that are supposedly the least of us, the most fragile, are probably the best of us. And we need to make sure that they have the care and protection services they need, but also our friendship, our enduring love, and making sure that no one goes without what they need every day. It is expensive, it is very difficult. The nice thing is we've taken almost $900,000 in cuts since July 1st of last year. Not one client has been turned away. Nope. We've opened new group homes. We're developing new services, we're reaching out to other partners, and we're making sure that we're doing God's work. I can tell everybody out there, honestly, and look in that camera, that every penny stays right here working for these people in Citrus County, and we're going to make sure that if a retarded person, which is still a term that's not used, but a development disabled person walks through that door with their family, and they're 21 years of age or older, we're going to do everything we can, Neil and Melissa, to make sure that they get what they need, even if it, we don't get any money for that. That's why the 50 unfunded clients are so critical. Nobody else in the state is doing that. Remember now, this is unbelievable. If you're a parent right now, there are almost 30,000 living in Florida, population of 18 million that are on the state's waiting list for the Agency for Persons with Disabilities that are waiting for three and a half to four years just to be processed to get what they call Medicaid waiver funding. That is a crime. That is obscene in America. It's wrong, okay? Florida ranks, ranks last in all of the states in per capita dollars sir, uh, spent in human services. Even the states of Alabama and Mississippi are outdoing us. When you step back and think about that, you say, that's not possible. That couldn't be. Well, it happens to be the case. We're in a real struggle right now, and the beauty of it is that Citrus County is answering the challenge, okay? By what we see today, we're at 206. I believe the phone number is 527-2341. Very good. <laughs> I hope those phones You're start hard. ringing. Right. We've got Wally Hammer here, who's just had a serious back operation, is one of our great volunteers. Now everybody knows Wally. <laughs> well, <laughs> no secrets. Hey, and uh, I just think that today is a very special day. I think we all feel that way. And uh, we've got to get somebody else on here because the phones aren't ringing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we need to get Dennis and Joni West back we here. Well, see, Vic to. done put the curse on me by giving me stage fright. We're going to get ready to go to the Citrus Swing Band with Sweet Georgia Brown. <laughs> 